I know parking is tough in Minneapolis in the winter. I live near Stephen Square. In a few minutes, the director of public works, Steve Cocky, will declare an even side parking restriction till April 1st or a big thaw at a press conference here at 19th and Stevens Avenue South. They summon a fire truck to this intersection. It's trying to come off of 1st Avenue South here at 19th Street and it can't make the turn on the first attempt. While the fire truck goes around, a neighbor comes up to me and asks me what's going on. I tell him, and I ask him, what are you going to do if you can't park on both sides of the street? I couldn't even tell you. <laughs> For real. You but it's, it's, I used to. Uh, it was hard to park your car here, though. You know, so. Especially, like, during the evening. Have you lived here for a few years? About a year. A couple years ago, I saw a fire truck stuck at that corner for about a half hour that they couldn't get to make that turn. Uh-huh. So, and they couldn't make that turn up there just now. Uh, uh, Thursday morning at 8 a.m., we're going to be putting in a permanent winter uh, uh, parking restriction on the even side of the street. So we don't want people to park on the even side of the streets. And that will be in place until uh, April 1st, or you know, if the weather improves and we, we feel that the uh, access is better, that we can always lift it. But uh, if not, we'd have that in place until about April 1st. Now, we, we don't do this lightly. Uh, we, uh, we have done this uh, in the past, uh, in, in, but the last time we did this was actually in 2001. So it's been a number of years since we put a, a winter parking restriction in place. Uh, it is a, a, a big inconvenience to our residents, especially those who are in denser neighborhoods, and we understand that. But uh, it's also very important from a public safety perspective that we have access uh, to, to our uh, you know, homes and, and buildings. No, you know, that was, that was uh, I told him that you I yes. didn't even know that was there. Well, we couldn't come in off of uh, I figured 19th because yeah. there's a car park down there. We never would have made that corner. Okay. And you could see down on 17th, okay. we barely made that with the cars parked on the north side of the street there. We had to inch through that corner. This is uh, Captain Sean Smith from hey, everybody. Uh, Let's Ladder 11 at Station 6. Uh, uh, my name is Steve Kotke. I'm the Director of Public Works. And what I wanted to announce this afternoon is that uh, we're going, starting at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, we're going to be putting a winter uh, parking restriction in place. Uh, and the, the, the reason for this is we need to make sure that we can provide you know, reliable access for our emergency vehicles, including, uh, as you can see, the big fire truck that we have here. Uh, the reason we've been doing, or going to do this is uh, we've gotten over 30 inches of snow this winter. And because we haven't had a lot of snow melt, we've had prolonged, uh, the prolonged cold, we, our streets are getting narrower and narrower as the, as the snow builds up. Right beside us here, trying to navigate, uh, making a turn. Uh, the straightaways are one thing. Coming down the narrow street is one thing. These big fire trucks have problems. As you saw, the turning radius, when you have cars parked, the streets are narrow, making those turns. And, and I know that for a fact, because I drove for 19 years uh, out of Station 6 and I drove these streets and they're very, very difficult. Not only are they difficult to, to, to navigate, but once you get there, when we get there, um, when the streets are narrowed, you got cars parked on both sides, it makes it tough for us to even get our tools and equipment off that we may need in either, either fire or an emergency. When they tried to come down this way, they didn't know that that car was down there. They had pre-planned pre that. They didn't know that car was going to be there, changed everything. There was another car down another block that changed it. And that will, that will typically happen. So the experienced drivers, I mean, luckily their experience tells them, I shouldn't even try this street. Yes. And they go somewhere yes. else. But that could mean a few extra minutes. Yes. It? Chief, yes. I've lived on this block for years. A year or two ago, a truck of yours tried to make a 90 degree turn right in this intersection and was then stuck for over a half hour. And it took other assets to come and get it. Correct. <laughs> I remember that. I, I think they had to have, uh, public groups had to have uh, uh, a, uh, uh, come and tow us out of that. We got stuck in the bank. I do remember that. You're right. Actually, I had to use fire trucks, other crews that tried to, tried to rock the rig and we wound up getting uh, some other city resources. And it took us out of service. We were actually back in service and got stuck.
trying to make that turn. For any of you guys at that incident a year or two ago when we stuck a truck right here? For about a half hour. Yeah. Tried to make a 90 degree turn. That's the driver. Oh really? I live on this block so I have to watch that. Oh, oh yeah. to make it work? Yeah. Yep. No you didn't, it was good, thanks. Alright, off to the right. This truck is 47 by 11 feet. It can make sharp turns, but it sticks out at both ends. spin around the neighborhood till we get back to Stevens and 17th Street. Now there's a car on our left, car on our right, and a tree in front of us, and they all get close. All three firemen at the right-hand side of the cab have to exit the fire truck and get on radios and talk the driver over his headset through the turn. Come on. Oh, you guys, you guys sit tight. When you call an emergency, do you want the fire trucks to take the primary route or have to go around? These guys said they go around at least six times a day, and that doesn't count getting out of the cab to advise the driver on turns. Do you want the fire trucks to be able to use their outriggers when they get there so they can extend their ladders? And after standing right behind the driver today, I have new appreciation for how he got stuck. I bet his riders got out and even told him over the headset how to do it. Yes, one-sided parking will make already difficult parking worse. But the firemen and women of Minneapolis don't just fight the fire. They fight the winters here, too. And I was convinced today that one-sided parking restrictions were necessary to the big thaw or April Fool's Day, whichever comes first. So